It's the forgotten city of Russia's far north. Grim apartment blocks crumbling on the edge of nowhere. Welcome to Vokotar in the Russian Arctic. Once a notorious gulag, now little better. Russia's economic boom never reached here. Anna Shevchenko was sent to the Vukotar labor camp in 1943 by Stalin. In wartime, her German ancestry doomed her to a life sentence, she told me. We lived here and worked here until eventually it became our motherland, she says. But it was hard. Nothing grows. Everything has to be brought in. Like most here, Anna's son and her grandson, 20-year-old Alexander, work in the local coal mines. It's a laborious job no one wants, but one few in Vokata can afford to lose. Many people my age want to leave, including me. My health is getting damaged. It's a dangerous, harmful job, and we're paid a pittance. A pittance in a city where economic despair holds thousands in this Arctic prison. But for some, there's been an escape. Across this region, whole towns now stand deserted, evacuated under a government program to resettle the entire population. Backed by the World Bank, northern families with neither jobs nor prospects are being encouraged to pack up and to go. Across this country's vast and isolated north, this could be the future. Passed by by Russia's economic resurgence, towns that no longer make sense are now slowly being abandoned. And these monuments to Soviet-era economic planning and all the misery they've brought could finally disappear. But surprisingly, despite the hardships here, not everybody is desperate to leave. At celebrations marking a national holiday, we met Alessia and Maxim, one young couple who say their future is right here in Vukata. Years of chaos and neglect, they told me, have given way to relative stability. My parents can't leave because there is no money and no property to move to. But I'm happy here. I'm making enough and planning to stay for now. Life has changed for the better since Vladimir Putin came to power. And so, even in Russia's grimmest corners, mostly excluded from the country's economic boom, there is now a flicker of confidence that against the odds, things may be getting better. Matthew Chance, CNN, Vukatar, in northern Russia.